Hi, this is Bob, and this uh, video is about the six meter beacon that I put up six years ago in 2010. It's been operating all that time with no problems. That's the beacon antenna there, the rectangular one that you see. And it's made out of an old lawn chair antenna. Uh, please pardon the unstable camera. That's my 73 year old fingers holding it. I bought that lawn chair at Goodwill for 75 cents. So that's the antenna. It's fed with uh, 130 feet of RG6 cable TV coax. Now we'll go inside and I'll show you the show you the beacon itself which is in the basement much cooler down here in the basement I have the ham shack in the basement and uh, here is the beacon It's all built into a RS-232 box. I took all of the uh, parts out of the box and re-drilled the holes in the front. The circuit was originally designed by Doug DeMaw and was in his circuits book. And then I also came across this article by WB2AMU, Ken, and he had built a beacon just like it. The crystal is a crystal out of a scanner. I found that some scanner crystals used for receiving on scanners were in 6 meters. And this particular crystal is 50.063. Same frequency that... Uh, WB2AMU used. So I just, this is not intended as a construction article, it's just intended to show what can be done and uh, as you can see the beacon runs really nicely and puts out one watt and I feed it with the RG6 uh, cable TV cable and uh, use the uh, F type connectors I use the F-type connectors too on my 250-watt uh, 6-meter transmitter. No problem at all. It has very low loss. It's inexpensive. And these connectors, these F-connectors, are so easy to put on and so inexpensive. And the other thing is you can buy those connectors at your, uh, at your local uh, big hardware store, uh, like Menards and Home Depot and Lowe's. They all have them and they're real easy to put on. There's no soldering, you just crimp them on. So I wanted to show this uh, little beacon here because people have asked about it. The identifier is right down there. It's a little eight pin chip. The identifier was made by uh, K1EL. He uh, programmed it for me. Well, actually he didn't make the identifier. I made the circuit board, which is a piece of perf board, but uh, he programmed the chip for me and uh, did a very good job and uh, so it makes for a really simple little identifier then. So that's the uh, six meter beacon. I can't think of anything else that I haven't mentioned here. I guess that's it. The circuit what I, that I did, I modified it a little bit uh, over what WB2AMU had here. You can get this uh, Here's the name of the article, Building a Low Power Beacon for 6 Meter, Issue 49, 6 News, May of 1996. And uh, that is located at uh, www.uksmg.org slash content, C-O-N-T-E-N-T, slash low power beacon dot htm <laughs> that's quite an address
but I think if you went to www.ukSMG.org that you could go through and find it that way too. And uh, so that's the whole thing. Uh, I'm not a real good designer of electronics. Never was. But uh, I have two things going for me here. Uh, one is patience and the second one is persistence. I don't give up. I just keep trying different circuits and different things until I get something to work. So uh, here's the whole layout here. And, and it has a 2N2222 oscillator transistor in here uh, and a, a 2N7, no, excuse me, 5770 uh, buffer transistor there, a 2N3906 keying transistor and a PT6619, which is a uh, CB output transistor that works nicely on 6 meters. and gives me the 1 watt. So that's it, guys. 73s, and I'll see you on 6.